come to mathematics class. Today's first topic, multiplying three digit numbers. You will see how we are multiplying three digit numbers by a one digit number. So, multiply the following. First question, 286 into 3. Second question, 457 into 2. Third question, 135 into 5. And fourth question, 193 into 4. So, you will see how we are doing this one. This first one, 286 into 3. Here we have ones, tens and hundreds. First, we have to multiply this. 1s by 3 that is 6 into 3 equal to 18 writing 8 here and this 1 10 is carried here then 8 into 3 8 into 3 8 into 3 equal to 24 plus 1 that is equal to 25 so writing is 5 here and 2 is carried here then 2 into 3 2 into 3 equal to 6. 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. Writing 8 here. Therefore, 286 into 3 equal to 858. Then second question, 457 into 2. So first we have to multiply this 7 into 2. 7 into 2 equal to 14. Writing 4 here and this one pen is carried here. Then 5 into 2, 5 into 2 equal to 10 plus 1, that is equal to 11. Then writing 1 here and this 1 is carried here. Then 4 into 2, 4 into 2 equal to 8, 8 plus 1, that is equal to 9. So writing 9 here. That means 457 into 2 equal to 914. Then moving to third question. That is 135 into 5. So first 5 into 5, 5 into 5 equal to 25. So writing 5 here and 2 is carried out. Then 3 into 5, 3 into 5 is 15 plus 2. That is equal to 17. So writing 7 here and this one is carried out here. Then 1 into 5, that is 5, 5 plus 1, 6. So we got the answers 675. Then fourth question, 193 into 4. So that's 3 into 4. 3 into 4 equal to 12. Writing 2 here and 1 is carried over. Then 9 into 4. 9 into 4 equal to 36 plus 1. Is equal to 37. So writing this 7 here and this 3 is carried over. Then 1 into 4 that is 4. 4 plus 3 7. So 193 into 4 equal to 772. Then 5th question 243 into 4. 6th question 246 into 2. 7th question 236 into 3. And 8th question, 148 into 5. So, we will see the 5th question. 243 into 4. First, multiply 3 by 4. That is, 3 into 4 equal to 12. Writing 2 here, carry the power 1 here. Then, 4 into 4. That is equal to 16 plus 1 equal to 78. So, writing 7 here and 1 is carried over. Then 2 into 4, 8. 8 plus 1, 9. So we got the answers 972. Then 6th uh, question 246 into 2. First 6 into 2. That is equal to 12. Writing 2 here and 1 is carried over. Then 4 into 2, 8. 8 plus 1, 9, 9 here, then 2 into 2 is 4. So we got the answers 492. Then, seventh question 236 into 3. So first we have to multiply 6 by 3, that is 6 into 3 equal to 18. Writing 8 here. 
and one we scattered over. Then 3 into 3. 9 plus 1 that is 10. So writing 0 here and 1 we scattered over here. Then 2 into 3. 6 plus 1, 7. So 236 into 3 equal to 708. Then the last question, 8 1. Is 148 into 5. So first, 8 into 5 is 14. Writing 0 here and 4 is carried over. Then 4 into 5. 4 into 5, 20 plus 4, that is equal to 24. Then writing 4 here and 2 is carried over. Then 1 into 5, 5 plus 2. So, 148 into 5 equal to 740. That means uh, to multiply a 3 digit number by 1 digit number, first we have to multiply the ones, then tens, and followed by hundreds. Now, children, we are moving to word problems related to multiplication. First question One table has four legs. How many legs will seven tables have? We have to find how many legs will seven tables have. Then uh, to write the word problems, we have some steps. That is, first step, number of number of legs one table has. How many legs one table has? Yes, four. Then number of tables. What is the number of tables? Yes, we have seven tables. Then you have to find the total number of legs. For that you have to multiply. That is 4 into 7. This 4 7s are, what is the answer? Ah yes, 28. That means we have 28 legs for 7 tables. Clear? So, our question is like this. One table has 4 legs. How many legs will 7 tables have? So, for that we have to write like this. That is, number of legs 1 table has. That is, 4. Then, number of tables 7. Then, we have to find the total number of legs. For that we have to multiply 4 into 7. That is equal to 28. Second question. A book has 56 pages. How many pages will 3 such books have? So, A book has 56 pages. We have to find how many pages will 3 such books have. So, for writing the answer, first step, number of pages in one book. What is the number? Ah, yes, that is 56. Then, number of books. Number of books equal to 3 books. Then we have to find total number of pages. For that we have to multiply these two numbers. That is 56 into 3. First we have to multiply this once by 3. That is 6 into 3. That is 18 Writing 8 here and 1 is carried over. Then 5 into 3, that is 15. 15 plus 1, 16. That means the total number of pages equal to 168. Now children, moving to third question. 5 apples are packed in one box. How many apples are there in 150 boxes? That means one box we have 5 apples. We have to find how many apples are there in 150 such boxes? So, answer. First step, number of, number of apples in one box. What is the number? Yes, we have 5 apples. Then, number of boxes is equal to 150. Then we have to find the total number of apples. What we have to do? Yes, we have to multiply these two numbers. That is 
150 into 5. First we have to multiply this 1 by 5. That is 0 into 5. We learn n number multiplied by 0 result in 0. That is product is always 0. So write 0 here. Then we have to multiply this tens by 5. That is 5 into 5. We have 25. So writing 5 here and 2 is carried over. Then 1 into 5. 1 into 5 equal to 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. So writing 7 here. That means the total number of apples equal to 750. That is number of apples in 150 boxes equal to 750 apples. Clear? Dear children, today we learned how we are multiplying 3 digit numbers by a 1 digit number and we also we learned some word problems. I hope you understood today's class. Thank you.